Welcome gamers, the new Anthem demo is out and we have a lot to talk about, so hold on to your butts and let's go. The Anthem demo is finally here. We're going to give you our rapid fire thoughts on it. Now just to give you a frame of reference, I've been playing on both PC and Xbox and have a little over 20 hours of gameplay under my belt from this weekend's VIP demo. There are some good and there are some bad. So let's get to it with first, the bad. EA really, really, really needs a win with Anthem, especially with some of the things that they had issues with Mass Effect Andromeda, and having these connection issues both on PC, PS4, and Xbox was not a great first step. Now for us seasoned gamers, we understand this happens almost every time with betas, demos, and releases. Part of the reason for this is to test, to stress test, find bugs like Bioware did find. Now this isn't excusing what happened, as many of us gamers felt very frustrated, but this is to be expected with most live service games nowadays. And the head of Bioware Live Services came out saying it's not a server issue, but something entirely different that was not shown on the alpha testing. So even if this is bad, it's good news for us on launch day. Along with this is the connection woes, or as some of us took to calling it, the 95% bug. If your team was loading into a mission, usually one or two of you would get the 95% loading bug, where you would just get there and be hung for minutes. And if you didn't know how to get around it, you were stuck, it became very frustrating. Thankfully, there was a workaround. You kill the game and restart it and it let you join the team again. But still, it was frustrating for us gamers. The good, the game felt fantastic. The flying was smoother than I thought it would be. Granted, not perfect, but good. I got a lot of the same feelings I got when I was playing Destiny 1. I felt powerful. The explosions are ridiculous, and many times squad members and myself included were just chuckling at the chaotic experience. And if you know us, we love explosions. The sound effects felt top-notch, especially the gunplay. I could almost feel my gun shooting, and it felt so good. And adding on to this, the meaty combat, it left me feeling satisfied. The game hits me in all the right places. At times, I kept getting that same feeling I had with Destiny 1. That, I can't wait to get home from work, school, get my chores done, so I can log in. That, that, that feeling? Yeah. Yeah, I was getting that feeling. It hasn't been a game since Destiny 1 that made me really feel this way, so for those of you coming into the open demo next week, you got a lot to look forward to. Overall, I'm very excited for this game, and it has the marking of being the big game of 2019. Addictive gameplay, Diablo-style loot drops, puzzles, Bioware story, sign me up. I can't wait to get back in this game. That's all from us here at MHD, guys. And remember, when in doubt, blow it up.